The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. When you think about the ocean, what comes to mind? Is it the euphoria felt when hot sand riddled toes meet cold, crisp waves? Or the lullaby feel as the sound of waves rock you to sleep? You see, the ocean can give and it can also take. As there were some who rocked in the cradle death waves in ships, set sail to a place they've never been. Good morning, my beautiful people. The diesel's fired up. It's another beautiful morning. First morning waking up in the Volta region in Keta. I'm super excited about today. I have no clue what's gonna happen today. Well, I do. We know we're gonna do some bird watching or some stuff like that because there's several species of birds that come to this side of the world, which I think is very amazing. Hopefully today we can encounter some more African food and that's gonna be a vibe. What I love so far about the place, I hope the next time when I come back here, we get some of those beach cottages that you could have seen man yo those look really good i can tell that if you woke up you're gonna hear the roars of the ocean that's probably gonna be your alarm clock but anyway guys let's hop on to this new adventure if you like content like this if you like the fact that i'm hanging with mr ghana baby here in ghana drop a like on the video drop a comment which episode has been your favorite part anyway let's roll Alright, so we're posted up here a bit and um, you know during my time here I'm trying to observe a lot of similarities and differences to our culture back in Jamaica and um, while we're driving especially in this part of Ghana so far I'm seeing like a lot of like obituaries like you know they have these flyers some even big billboards you know just celebrating the passing of the people um, back in Jamaica sometimes you might have something come on the TV where you know they do slideshows or in the newspaper so it's um it's very different seeing that um do you have any idea though uh what they yeah why exactly they do something like this i think in ghana we celebrate the death more than anything else so um it's one way of celebrating the dead you know you might see what a shock which means the person died very early or you see obituary and you can even though you have some funny ones you know i saw a sudden exit a like, sudden exit which means that the person died early you know so that is that is um, the things that you can literally find everywhere in Ghana. It's not just uh, the Volta region, but across the whole country. People even have big billboards just to celebrate the dead. You know, it's more like you might think uh, they are selling something. No, they aren't selling anything, man. They wow. are celebrating a loved one. So I don't know who brought that culture to Ghana, but we're used to it right now to the extent that if you your, your family member dies and you don't do that, which means, which means what? You don't respect the you don't respect the dead. The ghost to come after you. Oh, <laughs> whoa! Wow, guys, yeah. super interesting stuff. So whenever you get to Ghana and you see those billboards, don't think that they are um, just you know advertisements. You know, someone passed away and they're just showing some respect. Oh, accidents, bro. Hi, good morning, everyone. Oh, Alright guys, so we just crossed over. We are on these planks. It's like a little dock here. And we are about to head on to this boat. I wonder if they're gonna probably take us in part because it's a pretty small boat. Um yeah, these little buildings look like a pretty deserted island. Um it was mentioned that there was some from a fire and stuff, so I guess that's why it's no longer in operation but places like these in certain places man bungalows overwater bungalows are super expensive 
you know so i hope that in future they can bring these stuff back and bring some money back into this side of the country <laughs> All right, we are going to be on our way pretty soon. We're just waiting for this boat to probably get started. Um, what day? Yeah. How are you feeling, my bro? I don't, I don't feel good, bro. Because <laughs> the captain just Yo. said shit. <laughs> the captain is saying shit. What do I have to do, man? <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to go a couple of us first. But we are just so close. That's that's it. That's just the right in front of us. Ay, Dios mio. Yeah, it's definitely too low for the um for the motor. Yeah, the propellers too low. Where the boy you put here? Where the Is it shallow? Yeah. Very shallow. Yeah. So it's literally going to pull the boat all the way up there. Yeah, it looks like about hmm, 800 meters probably. Those are the beds. When we wake. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in land I think this is the first, the first body of water in Africa that has stepped into like literally. Like, for not the here to see the birds uh, they usually come around the winter period I mean it's February I guess it's coming to the ending of winter um, for those persons who go through the seasons you can drop it in the comments and let me know I'm a Jamaican guy so um, <laughs> we have summer all year round in December yeah it gets a bit chilly but apart from that yeah I believe February should be the end of the, the winter season so um, we're not seeing any birds. There's a uh, one or two, but however, I can just imagine this place being laden with them um, It's really cool. I think this place has so much potential honestly, you know all these there's so many islands around here that are just dotted about um, It's almost like um, Pelican bar that we have in St. Elizabeth back home where there's a bar just out in the middle of the ocean You know having that resort back up or a concept like that would be good here um, Yeah so anyway i think we're gonna head back on the boat pretty soon and see where else this adventure takes us today hey. Hey, 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 hey. enter yeah. okay <laughs> That's how the guy fell. He fell on his boat. The what? Fisher, the fisherman. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In my mind, I'm like, this guy is dead. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so now we are raising the outboard and we are getting ready to go. I really wish that we got the chance to see a lot more birds out here. But nonetheless, this is a really cool transit spot where the birds come every winter and they chill out a little bit because they don't like the cold, just like myself. And then they head back home. Now we are also going to head back home after our little stop in transit. Oh no. Please. Welcome on board. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Welcome on board, yeah? So we're kind of stuck for a moment waiting for the boat to start. And we, we're just sharing cultures. We're so, stuck on an island. So Jilly was asking, um, you know, how do you call your pets here? And Stephen was just like, yo, they don't even name their pets at all. How do you call your pet? <laughs> Jamaica will go. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I finish that, I'll be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just call, do. They call the cats and the dog the same way. Same way. And, and and that one, when you're doing it, the, the dog will be coming, but being careful because Ghanaians eat everything. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Cats, dogs. dogs? Didn't you hear about the Volta, the Volta region? The Volta region. They, they eat cats. It's a delicacy. The dog is for the nodding. It's for the what? The dog is for the nodding. Northern. The northern part. The northern or the northern. Okay, is that? <laughs> only found four bags, you know? Went to That's a... Watch, 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 watch your head! Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> they, they jump, they jump to an, another place. What's happening, bro? Yeah. Bro. Two flies? Yeah. Two flies. Yeah. yeah. What's happening? Bro, I was just standing to look at you guys, and then I saw these house flies here. I'm even trying to hit them with the, my hand. If they, they just they jumped know, to another place. They said they, what place. are they doing? They're enjoying the pum pum. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> See, so hey, look at the number of people man. around. They are not even scared. <laughs> they're still here. <laughs> even your back. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They left. They left. They left. They left. <laughs> Yeah. In the air. Yeah. See the beach. to listen closely Hello. you'll hear them Hello. having like a rhythmic song and you have this in jamaica oh i've never seen this in jamaica oh. really no. No, no no there's another way of fishing you know so i think they threw the nets inside and now they're pulling the net 
yeah. towards them. So yeah. if we can stay here for the next two oh. hours, they'll actually bring the net and then you will see the fishes in there. Wait, you said two hours for them? I, tell you, I think they even started at like six o'clock. Oh. Bro, oh. it's a lot of work. I'm like, why don't you just enter the sea directly and just go oh. catch the fish? But I think they just go throw the net and then they pull it to the shores. Man, yeah. yeah, I just tried it just now, and let me tell you, just the weight of the water on the rope alone makes it so heavy. And then the grittiness of the sand, it's like it's super sharp. If you're not careful, you'll probably get blisters on your hands if your hands are virgin to this type of thing. Um, but yeah, in Jamaica, we do have fishing and stuff, but I've never seen a group of men pulling for hours trying to get nets out of the water. Chances are, you probably use uh, probably like a motorized boat or something and guide it in. But um, yeah, I've seen this on, I believe, Instagram, some, I don't know where on social media, but it's just a pleasure to actually come out here and be a part of it myself. So if you have the chance and you can head to Keta, make sure you guys come and check out Emancipation Beach. So I have a question real quick, right? If somebody wants to come to Keta because they just want to see this as a spectacle, because I saw this on Instagram and I wanted to see this for myself. At what time of the week or the year can they come out and see fishermen doing stuff like this? Okay, uh, fishing here in yeah. Ghana, in Keta, is uh, annual, mm -hmm. but it has some peak seasons. Okay. Okay. They fish from January to December, but okay. the peak season is around I guess, September, September, where the catch is very high. Yeah. Uh, it's bumper harvest around I guess, uh, September, uh, early October. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah.
the labeling stain of produce the effect of mosquitoes. So six men from why he realized the slave matters of their life. So that's why I could even watch West Africa is richer than South Africa in terms of resources. So what is this? A punishment point. Punishment point. So slaves were brought from the dungeon early in the morning, brought them here, nailed them down, tied their hands at their back, shackled their necks, and raised it towards the sun. Oh no. So you're doing this every day. Before the arrival of the slave chief, the sun rays affected their eyes. And those are the slaves they thought they were stubborn. But the question are they stubborn? Let's see. If you in those days, all of you knew about it that before ancestors left their home to go to their farm. They need to wake up early in the morning, walk miles. So on their way back home sometimes they have been kidnapped. Since they are from the hinterland and then they were brought here, they've never seen this type of problem before. They don't know the reason why they were being brought here. And most importantly the family they left behind. They were thinking about them. So they refused to talk, eat or drink. So the slave master thought they were stubborn. So they brought them out and destroyed them. Wow, so you mean the keys are they can see their freedom but yeah. can't take it. Yeah. So Bob Marley has a song that says, Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Like these people were mentally enslaving them from a very long time. You know, us as Africans, because yo, like you put the keys just above their heads so they know that there is a way to escape, but they know it's still out of reach. Yo, that is some sick sadistic type. Sh So here we are. These are some of the materials which were being used in those days to build for the use oyster shell. And these yellowish bricks were brought from Denmark. When they took the slaves and slaves, when the ship was coming back, they used it to ballast the ship. So where they brought it from, that's where the name of the fort comes from. So Prince in time in stone of the prince. That's the name of this fort. Yeah. For Prince Einstein. Yeah. Because Stein or Stein means stone. But if you look through the shell, find charcoal. In 17th, before 17, so they dug the ground before they got the shell. So if you take your mind back 2,000 years before the Europeans arrived to Africa, Africans were using charcoal for fire. They took away over 10 to 15 million Africans from Congo down down to Gambia. If they are paying us what a dollar per person for the past 300 years, I think that's big money for Africa. Our people went to work on their farms and they never paid them anything. So we are calling for repatriation and reparation. That is, they should pay us back. It's just a fair deal. It's just a natural principle, natural justice. Even when they pay back, the politicians will squander the money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have gotten back to the LA Resort and uh, yo, super excited about breakfast because the dinner last night was good. Those giant prawns, I've been waiting to find some from a seafood, whether it's shrimp, lobster, or whatever the case is. So that was really good last night. So let's see what they have in store for us for breakfast.
our hotel room you guys can see uh, just behind me yeah it's a bit messy because we've just been on the run and gone it's been a very busy day for us we really wanted to try some new interesting street foods but we never really had the time to stop so we had breakfast still haven't eaten as yet we're about to head to a another accommodations to have some dinner and then um, we'll see how it goes from there um, overall in a nutshell let me just say it has been a vibe to experience this place honestly we didn't get to experience it to its fullest extent because we've hardly been here but the touches of food that i had from the food last night that was really good i was happy to have some caribbean like food and also the staff have been great very accommodating and it was really good being close to the ocean waking up to see that in the morning was very very good so far it's the best beach that i have been to in Africa. Well, let's face it, I've only been to like two beaches, one off the Jamestown area and here in the Volta region. But very clean, very beautiful. Anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Guys, if you enjoy videos like these and you want to see me filming more content out here, remember to drop a like on the video. If you're an African or you are from Ghana, drop a like on the video for sure and make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Join the soy family. I'd appreciate it. But anyway, remember these three things. Love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember to keep the link.